have a hurricane sitting right off the coast in the Atlantic Ocean that they're predicting will be a Cat 4. If you don't think the devil wants to destroy on all sides and everything and every place that he, he can... You know, because if somebody says, well, that's the judgment of God, then we all need to stop praying. And if it's the judgment of God, we just say, come on, Father, wipe my house out. Because if it's judgment, just let it, lay, lay it on. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That's like somebody praying for cancer. That's crazy. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says when the enemy shows up, resist the devil and he will flee. Jesus said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. I give you the keys of the kingdom. If two of you shall come into agreement as asking anything, I will do it. That's unity. That's that's harmony. Listen, when you're dealing with something with a force and a demonic spirit and spirits, and principalities and rulers of darkness that are strong as what came in with Harvey and what is sitting out there in the Atlantic right now wanting to come here. You're dealing with some mighty, powerful demons, demonic spirits. You're dealing with powerful principalities and powers. And and to me, we've already been through the destruction of Matthew. We understand what that is like. And so, so I, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, we've got to pray. But it's got to be more than just standing here on Sunday morning and praying a five-minute prayer. We've got to have intercession, praying that is going on. We've got to attack. The devil is attacking us, and he will not let up. But yet, at the same time, we do have power. You know, one of, the, one of the biggest lessons that I learned concerning us praying against hurricanes when Matthew came, um, never forget this, Matthew came, we were praying, we were interceding, we had developed uh, or, or, or put together our intercessors and we were praying and praying and praying and guess what Matthew did? Matthew turned out. You remember this? Matthew turned out into the ocean, headed out into the ocean. The guy, the weather folks come on and said, hey, Matthew, everything's good. Matthew has turned out to the ocean. You know what we did? We stopped praying. You know what Matthew did? Reversed and came right back in. I told Tava, I told our pastoral staff, I said, I have learned one major big time lesson. We do not stop praying until something has totally dissipated. And we see that thing is literally gone way out or it has just totally become disorganized and, 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 and it's just blown itself out or, or, or whatever. And, and we're living in, in, in this September, October and can't even go into November. So we need to... We need to intercede. We need to pray. So I, I am asking for people in this church. I'm asking you to take a no let 30 minutes or an hour every single day and say, Holy Spirit, pray through me right now for, for uh, against Irma. Pray through me in the name of Jesus that I pray right now against Hurricane Irma. Amen. We can't wait and start organizing prayer when that thing gets gets on top of us. I never forget the time. I never forget the time that I prayed for somebody one time, and and uh, I came back the next day, and the lady I had prayed I had prayed for, um, she had graduated to heaven. I was so upset. I was just man. I was so upset. I was young in the Lord. I was upset, and I said, Lord, I don't understand that. I did everything Your Word said to do. I I just don't understand this, Lord. I did exactly what I was supposed to do, it, you know, and I expected different results. I don't understand this. God has no problem with you talking to him like that. You know, if you don't ask questions like why or what's going on, sometimes I get the answer, sometimes I I don't. But I'll never forget this because I was six years old right in the middle of when Hurricane Hazel hit Myrtle Beach. I was six years old. It it is tattooed in my brain of, of those 
three days and three nights. Hazel came in at 154 miles an hour. It tore Myrtle Beach to pieces. I'll never forget. I can close my eyes and see what I saw when, when we went back. Uh, it Unbelievable. You, you could come across the old drawbridge down there up the hill to go down to the drawbridge on the inland waterway. And when you got to the top of the hill where the little, place, the little uh, town, Cherry Grove, you can't see the ocean from there because there's trees and houses and businesses now and everything. But when, when I came and we came with our family and came up on the thing, you could see all the way to the ocean and all you could see was commodes and boards. Everything was gone. Every tree, everything was gone. And that's in my mind. And so when I prayed for that lady, I said, Lord, I don't know what happened. And he spoke to my heart because he spoke to me in a way that he knew exactly what I would understand. And, and he was talking about the person that I prayed for. And he said, son, you can't build a house in the middle of a hurricane. And I'll never forget one day I was I was watching uh, I was watching a documentary and I was watching a, a hurricane uh, at one time and I was watching people out taking plywood and trying to build and I was watching the wind was so strong and the plywood would just fall off just whoosh, fly off and people were they were screaming to him get out you can't you can't do you can't do that right now you should have already prepared you can't build your house. In the middle of a crisis. You can have people to pray for you. But here's the key about pray, pray, somebody praying for you. After we pray for you, you still have to fight the fight of faith until you see, the, you see what's going to go, happen. You still have to fight the fight of faith. Because we can pray and you can get negative and negate everything we pray. And that's understanding faith and walking by faith and living by faith and understanding what the Word of God says. Can you say amen? Yeah. Amen. Amen. I guess this should be my message. <laughs> but, but, but we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going we're, we're gonna to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray for our nation. We're going to pray... We're going to pray against Hurricane Irma. But I need some folks standing with me that after this service is over with, that until that thing is gone, we will have intercession. Yes, we yes, will have, yes. we will speak to that yes. storm, command it to disorganize, command it to dissipate, command it to get out there and stand in, 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 in faith. And, and literally, I mean, get when you set aside a time, if you have to get up early or before you go to bed at night, pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, pray through me right now. And if you hadn't been baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, which is in the Bible, and it hasn't passed away. We've allowed people to teach us based on their experience instead of basing their experience on the Word of God. It's for us today. It is a powerful, powerful tool and instrument that God gift that God has given us. And it's of God. It's not of the devil. It is of God. And it is powerful. And the devil will fight against it, do everything he can uh, to get people to teach against it, you know, uh, which is not even the word of God. And, 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 and take away from us something that Jesus died to give us. Can you say amen? Amen. So come on, let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the covenant that you've given us. Thank you, Father God, that you've given us the keys of the kingdom. And whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we ask for reformation in our nation. Yes. We pray for the peace of God to be poured yes. out and released yes. in our nation, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray right now 
uh, Lord, for our president, our vice president, yes. for our governor, yes. Father God, for our mayor, Lord God, for our county commissioners, our city council, uh, our house of representatives, yes. the Senate, Father God, nationally and, and in our state yes. in the name of Jesus. We pray for unity and peace and harmony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind every single plan and assignment and every spirit of division we bind it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we render you harmless and ineffective we cancel out your assignments and your plans against our nation all of your plans all of your strategies in the name of Jesus we cancel them out we bind them and we resist you Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ from trying to destroy our nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for revival in your church. We pray for an outpouring of your spirit in your church. Open our eyes to see and to discern and to know the day and the time that we're living in. Father, I pray that we will not become apathetic. We will not become lethargic. We will not become lukewarm. But we will stay fired up and on fire in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, we come against Hurricane Irma. In the name of Jesus, we bind every principality and ruler of darkness that has been assigned to form Hurricane Irma. In the name of Jesus, we bind you. We break your power. And we command the winds in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the winds and command the winds to cease in the name of Jesus. We command the air currents cease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We speak to Irma and we command Irma be no more. We command her to be disorganized. We command her to move out. Move out into the Atlantic away from the eastern seaboard in the name of of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus we call for the wind currents and we call for the jet stream and we call for the low pressure to come driving that thing out we call angels to come to do spiritual warfare defeating and bringing bringing to nothing that hurricane in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father, we thank you for protecting us and keeping us safe. You promised that no plague or claiming to come to our dwelling. Nothing by any means would hurt us. The wicked one would touch us not. And no weapon formed against us can prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand here to defend the land that you have put us on and put us in in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for unity and harmony in the body of Christ. Open our eyes to the truth in the name of Jesus. Give us discernment. Yes. Let us, Father God, I pray that the voice of a stranger we will not Thank listen to. Yes. But we will only hear your voice in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes. We thank you for it, Father. Thank you, Father. We thank you for it, Father. Father, Father, as we go and leave this place today, as we begin to intercede and begin to pray. Let our houses become houses of prayer. Let our houses become houses of prayer once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Let husband and wives come together and pray. Instead of arguing and being selfish and bickering, let us come together spiritually to pray against our enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. For Father, you still, the church still has the keys of the kingdom. The church still has your power. Lord, I just pray that the church of Jesus Christ will awaken in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for all of those in Texas, Louisiana, every place that has been affected by Hurricane Harvey. We pray for them. We pray for their comfort, their peace. And Father, we pray, Lord God, that every need would be met. Father, we also ask you right now, Father, the greatest miracle right now that needs to be done is that water needs to recede, yes. Lord. Yes. That water needs to Thank be recede. Now, Father, you you sent a wind and dried up the Red Sea so that Israelites could go over. So nothing is impossible for you. 
Nothing is impossible for you, Lord. Father, we stand here today and we ask you based on the covenant that we have and according to your word. Lord, we ask you to whatever you have to do to cause a miracle in the name of Jesus for the waters to recede and recede quickly, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we just pray right now for all of those, Lord, that, 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 that water's messed up. Protect the people from disease and sickness and infirmity, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect them in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. And Lord, we just pray that you would just bring all the help they need, Father. And all the need would be met, Father. And everything they need to, to rebuild. Father, we just thank you for that, that being there and the help being there, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. So, Father, we give you the praise and honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody yes. said, yes. Amen and amen and amen and amen, 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 amen. amen.